Hello and welcome to Instant Work YouTube channel. Today we're going to take a look at a professional equipment used to measure knife sharpness. It has been used by a Swedish university in two research projects on the Swedish meat cutting industry. There are several advantages of having a sharp knife. For those working long hours with a knife it has great importance, but even if you don't use it that much, a sharp knife will give you a better result when you use it. Normally when testing sharpness, it is common to do so by cutting through paper or you can shave the back of your hand or perhaps use your nail to feel the edge. This may work as a simple method of finding out if a knife is dull or sharp, but it doesn't give any exact information of how sharp the knife really is. Today I'd like to present a completely different way of measuring sharpness that uses electronic sensors to measure the force needed by a specific knife to cut through a test media. The sharper the knife is, the lower the cutting force will be. The biggest benefit from this method compared to others is that it provides a very detailed information about the entire blade from tip to handle. This is an Anago sharpness analyzer. As you can see, I have already mounted a knife and the special test media is also in place. The upper clamp is connected to the force sensor measuring the cutting forces, which is transformed into sharpness values. The forces are measured 50 times each second. Now that everything is prepared, I can start the test directly on the Anago. Well, as you can see, the Anago can perform a test by itself, but to collect a higher resolution of data, we need to connect the sharpness analyzer to a computer with a specific software. This is the sharpness analyzer software. Before you perform a test, you'll need to fill in some information, but that procedure will not be included in this video. For now, I have prepared the form in order to speed up the test. This is what the measurement looks like when the test is done. You are presented with a graph. The right side is where the tip of the blade is and the height represents the sharpness value. You can now follow the length of the blade through this scale at the bottom, 10 millimeters, 20, 30 and so on, until just about 14 centimeters, that is the length of this blade. Note also how the sharpness varies along the length of the blade. If you need to study more closely, you can zoom in like this. Now we can see how the sharpness increases from the tip until a small defect shows up at about 4 cm and another one at about 9 cm. You can also compare several tests side by side like this. Here we can see that the same knife after being used has a slightly different curve than before. This way you can see exactly how sharp a knife is. Millimeter by millimeter from tip to handle with a precision of 4%. This can reveal how the blade wears down when using it, or if the knife is damaged enough to have to be resharpened. By looking at how sharpness is affected by different grinding angles, grinding techniques, working techniques or choice of materials, you can also make deductions about what method or tool is the best to use, or simply get a measurement of if the grind was successful or not. Then if you want to know why you get a certain sharpness, or if there's a reason to examine a certain part of the edge, you can use the microscope or the angle finder. The angle of the edge has great importance. A narrower, thinner angle makes for a sharper knife, but also a softer edge. The thin edge can more easily bend or deform than a knife grinded in a thicker, wider angle. This is our angle finder from Katra. It works by shining a laser on the knife that mounts in the middle, and the reflections from the different bevels land on the rim where there is a scale. You just mount the knife on the magnets and press the button. 
The reflection now appears on the scale at the back. I use the microscope to find out why if I get a lower sharpness value than expected. It's also interesting to take a closer look at how the edge is affected by working with a knife. Often the edge is bent, chipped or otherwise deformed. There might be situations where you want to do a more thorough analysis. At Instant Work we have both the knowledge and experience of how to create and perform experiments with a scientific credibility. We also do summaries and statistical analysis of the results. A common mistake often made in consumer tests is using too little data. Furthermore, how you decide to design an experiment should also consider how reliable your results need to be. A larger amount of data is one more important ingredient, but it's also important to have a standardized method of measurement, an appropriate method of analysis and a relevant presentation. It's also important to make sure the measurements will not be affected by other variables such as the human factor or other things that can have an unwanted impact on the result. If you want to compare knife sharpness, you also need to consider that sharpness is a function of what the edge's angle is, the thickness of the blade, what quality of steel is used, if the edge is linear, convex or concave, if there's any burr or raw edge still attached. The angle at which you cut will also affect the sharpness value. Those variables do not only affect the sharpness value, but also how long the edge will last and how the feel of the knife is. A comparison test should therefore also take those variables and more into consideration. Now you've seen what this equipment can do. I bet you probably have lots of ideas how you could put it to use. But during our research, we found that those who use knives in their line of work or sharpen knives professionally find it very interesting to be able to really know in print how sharp the knife is and more importantly, why. By reliably being able to analyze knife sharpness, angles and surface finish, you get a fantastic opportunity to compare different knives or see how effective different sharpening tools really are. In our research, we found that this is a critically important feedback tool, especially for professionals. Just like an athlete uses a stopwatch or tape measures to compare results, a reliable way to measure knife sharpness is needed for those who sharpen knives or simply uses them a lot. It also gives an opportunity to perfect your own sharpening techniques or working techniques and we have a lot of really interesting results from our research to show you. In the meat cutting plants that participated in the project, this has led to the knives being overall sharper and that the cost of sharpening and buying knives has dropped. If you're interested in renting the equipment or if you need help doing tests or quality controls, you're welcome to contact me on this channel from my website or from my Facebook page, instantwork.se. Renting will cost about 25 US dollars per day. A startup fee will also be charged to cover the administrative effort, calibration and reconditioning the unit. The first time you rent will also require an education on the equipment. This can be done remotely. On this YouTube channel you will also find the instructional videos that were created in the project. They target the industry but might still be interesting to you if you're not a professional. They are about knives, grinding techniques, stealing and working techniques in four videos of about 10 minutes. Right now they're in Swedish but I will try to make subtitles as soon as I find the time to do it. I will also continue to post videos about similar subjects targeting home users. If you're interested in knowing more about the science of knife sharpness, I would recommend you to check in on this channel again. I will do tests on different sharpening tools for home use and uh, see what works or not, and I'll explain why. I have also planned to do interviews uh, with professionals within this area of expertise. If you found this interesting, please subscribe, like and share this video. I would really appreciate that. Feel free to leave a comment with a question or feedback, I will answer. If you choose to subscribe, you will be alerted when I publish new videos.
Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back here for the next video.